Hebrews 12, 14 and 15 says, Pursue peace with all people and holiness, which no one will see the Lord, looking carefully, lest any one fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up causes trouble, and by this many become defiled. I want to show you here a root that my dad dug up, up in our backyard. There's a lot of construction going on behind me, but look at this root. Just look how this thing is probably a couple hundred pounds. Did you see all those little veins and webs? Not webs, but like, look at all this. It's huge. Okay. And so we dug down deep to get it. And um, when, I, when they were working on it, I couldn't help but think of bitterness because it says that the root of bitterness um, goes deep, you know, and it says that it causes trouble. And then it says that it can corrupt many. And I, I stopped and I thought about that. I thought about, you know, what my heart, what I'm allowing my heart to do and, and to produce in it actually affects others. And so I want to encourage you guys today is, you know, go to the Lord, ask him, is there any roots of bitterness? Is there any roots that are down in my heart that are not pleasing to you, Lord? And, and if the Lord brings something to you, give it to him. Ask him to take it out because this stump, oh my goodness, it took a lot of hours and a lot of manpower. And you know what? The Lord has a strength. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. He can do it. He'll remove those bitter roots. And he'll replace it with a beautiful, fresh tree blooming. Look at those hibiscus and the lemon tree. You know, we want this stuff planted in our life, right? Right? Fruit that people can, can enjoy with us, right? Not just, not bitterness, because, you know, it says that it'll corrupt many. So, again, go to the Lord. Ask him, Lord, is there anything, especially because it's springtime, is there anything that we need to take out here? so that we can plant in a beautiful garden. Because in John 15, it says that he is the husbandman. He goes around and he takes care of the gardens of our hearts. So I hope that encourages you guys to go before the Lord. And like I said, if God puts his finger on something, just say, yes, Lord. Just say, Lord, get it out of my heart. I give it to you. You deal with it and plant into me a beautiful fruit tree. All right, until next time. Keep the fruit growing.